<laughs> Did you know that you can find the height of something tall, like a tree, without climbing and without a ladder? Mm -hmm. To get started, all you need is your thumb. <laughs> I've got my thumb, now let's go find some trees. It's go measure time! Perfect! Okay, so here's how it works. You want to extend your arm and close one eye. Give me a thumbs up. Oh, don't forget to be facing the tree, obviously. You want to line up the base of the tree with the bottom of your thumb. And the tip of your thumb needs to line up with the top of the tree. Not working for you? Well, just keep walking back till it does. Next, rotate your thumb so that it is parallel to the ground. There, that spot on the ground is where the top of the tree up there would hit if the tree would fall. Mark that spot. You'll need a friend to help you with this. Perfect. Now the distance from the mark to the tree will be the same as the height of the tree. I'll prove it. Measure from your mark to the bottom of the tree, and then from the bottom of the tree to the top of the tree. Ta-da! It works because the tree is the same size standing up and laying down. It's just like you. You're the same size standing up and laying down too. Gotta love non-standard measurement. Here's another crazy fun way to find how tall something is. Lean down and look between your legs at an object. Now, move forward until you can see the top of the object and your legs should be in a good V-shape, or 45 degrees. I can now see the whole thing. That means here, where I'm standing, is where the coat rack would fall. <laughs> They're both the same. I'm truly one with the triangle. Me, the coat rack, and its distance from me on the ground. You can measure the height of anything tall. A basketball hoop, a tall plant. Hey. Even your grandma. Huh? Use your thumb to estimate where the tall object would fall, then grab a friend to help mark the spot. Using your thumb. It's not magic, it's math. <laughs>